The Beulahville man who shot his wife's lover back in 2013 learned he'll head to prison for a minimum of 17 years. Max Turner accepted a plea deal to second degree murder one day before his case was scheduled to go before a jury. Turner shot and killed Jamie Fountain on February 5th, 2013. The victim was in a car with Turner's wife at the time. WNCT's Elizabeth Two was in court today and has reaction. It was a room full of heartbreak today as two families from the community of Beulahville came face to face in court. Cameras were not allowed in the courtroom where Max Turner's family and the family of the man he killed both spoke in front of a judge who was deciding the fate of Max Turner. Jamie Fountain's family said it would be up to God to forgive Turner for taking away their loved one. When it was Turner's turn to address the court about the night he shot and killed his wife's lover, he said he was sorry and wishes he could take that night back. Turner's defense attorney argued their client had basically lost his mind over his wife's affair. He was in shock. He uh, didn't, didn't really didn't really recall everything that had happened, but he'd been married for 30 years, and he had never once anticipated his wife having any sort of affairs. This was the first time when this event occurred. This was the first time he had actually seen his wife and Mr. Fountain together. A judge sentenced Turner to serve between 17 and 21 years in prison. Part of that sentence includes a psychological evaluation. I spoke with the defense attorney and the prosecutor who say they are equally satisfied with today's sentence. In Duplin County, Elizabeth Two, nine on your side. Now, it is unclear at this time where Turner will serve out his prison sentence.